What's up guys, today we're going to try to draw the ghost from the new movie, Soul. Alright, let's give this a shot. So what I'm going to start with is probably the hardest part of this drawing and that would be the glasses. We want to do the glasses first because they're the closest thing to us when we're drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line like this. There's a little bump in the middle and another line like that. That's for the top part of the glasses. Then on both sides, there's like a little divot down. And make a little dot right there. That way you know that's where you're going to meet. So what I'm going to do is come in and around to that point. Come in a tiny bit and around to that point. Okay? And on the inside, we're just going to pretty much copy that shape like this. There you go. Alright, we'll come back to his eyes a little bit later. Now the next thing I'm going to do is right above these glasses, he has some little eyebrows. And it's basically just like two little oval shapes like that. Coming out of here, we're going to have two lines up, and this one's angled up for his head. And now right on the other side of those glasses, we're going to come out like this. Down, in, and this one's going to come out. In like that. He has a big old smile like that. You'll notice we didn't do anything at the top here because we want his hat to come from behind his glasses. Now watch. It's going to come up and then it's going to wrap around it's going to come straight across where his top of his head is. Down, wrap around, and in. Okay. Then from here, we want the top of his hat to be slightly wider than his head, so we know his head fits in here, so it's going to come up. Kind of. And we need another line right there. There we go. That's starting to look good. Okay. In this particular drawing, we're going to have his hands crossed. So that means we'll finish off his body. And we're going to run out of room on the page here. And that's okay. So we may not see his feet. But what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of come down to a slight bump off the page. We don't want to do the other hand yet, or the other side yet, because the arms are going to be kind of in the way. So for this arm, it's going to start very close to here, but we're going to come up and around, back, down, and up. Okay? And this hand is actually, his, his arms are folded. So what you're going to see here is the other elbow coming around and up. And then out of here is going to come his other hand. So watch what I do. I'm following that invisible line through. And right around where this is, we're going to have his fingers. One, two, doesn't really matter how many you have. And then back around and in like that. And I'm going to finish off that shoulder. So now it's starting to look like his arms are crossed a bit. From here we're going to come out and his belly kind of comes out and in a little bit. And his leg comes down. Now unfortunately I don't have enough room to add the legs for the feet. So if you do, you're just going to make some little bumps down there for the feet. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? 
All right, so now we need to color a little bit. And the great thing about this is we're not gonna use too many colors. Um, if you have a turquoise, that is great. If you don't, I think I'm gonna go with a green and a blue. I have one crayon, I have one colored pencil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on this side with my hand pressure shading pushing pretty hard. I'm going to push pretty hard up here because there's going to be shadow from that hat. Now the crazy thing about this guy is he's pretty much all one color. Well, we got to do the eyes. I forgot to fill the eyes in there. Don't worry, we'll do that. But what I'm doing is I'm pushing hard on this side and then as I go across I'm going to get lighter and lighter like we've done a million times before. Just like that. And I want them to be pretty consistent throughout. Push nice and hard in here. This is a really crummy colored pencil, guys, this particular brand. Hopefully you guys have a better brand at home that you don't have to push so hard. Even pushing as hard as I can, I can barely get it dark. But it's okay because he's a ghost, so it's kind of working for what we want it. Okay, I'm going to go back in and fix these eyes a little bit. So the eyes are pretty simple. I'm just going to make some black circles here to give them some eyes in there okay now I'm going to take my green and what I'm going to do is on that darkest edge I'm going to add a little bit of green and it's going to give us that turquoise color that we want I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm kind of just pushing lightly on the places where I push the hardest with the blue. To kind of get that effect that he kind of glows a bit. All right, guys, there's our quick little character from Soul. Uh, give him a shot. Um, hopefully, I can tell you this, the colors look way better in person than they look on the camera. So hopefully you guys will see that whenever you shade him in at home. All right, there's our dude from Soul. Have fun.